Hey y'all, this is Tyler Blake from TylerBlakeArt.com again, and this is Beyond the 100 Days of Making Comics, episode number 20. So, um, I am inking the cover of Killing Them Softly. I'm, uh, pretty proud of the drawing on the cover here with, with this, uh, fight scene going on. I, I, I really like doing dynamic action. That's something I want to be known for eventually when I'm known for something. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm, I'm using my Kiritake, uh, brush pen. So it, it's a brush pen that has flexible bristles, just like a real brush with a little ink cartridge inside. Um, sometimes I will float around to other pens, but I always come back to this one just because I, I feel it responds the best to what I'm wanting the brush to do. The, um, sometimes, so when I film, I'm always working on an easel because that's just the setup that I have available right now. Sometimes if I'm working horizontally and in inking, um, I, I have noticed that the uh, brush will load a little bit too much and it becomes a little bit harder to control. But when you're working vertically on an easel or, or you know, closer to vertically, it uh, doesn't happen as much. So, um, and I, I'm, I'm done with the inks. Actually, I'll, I'll show a picture of that at the end, but I'm getting close to being done with the watercolors on this, but that'll be a video for next week. So... And then uh, I, I have very little work to do on the interior of the comic itself. So this this will be ready real soon, which is exciting for me because I've been working on it for a long time. So, um, yeah, as far as the... I, I kind of feel like I'm still working on finding how, how dark things need to be for the colors that are going to go over the inks, um, because I'm still kind of getting used to watercolor. With, with Copics, you know, with uh, Copic markers, I had a color swatch that showed me exactly, you know, that I made, that showed me exactly how dark a color was going to be on the paper I'm using. And with watercolor, there's a lot of variables with that, you know, how, what's your water to paint ratio and so forth, so, um... Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting, and, uh, I would say, like, one of my heavier influences, like, the kind of Marvel style of the 70s, and also Bern Hogarth, um, his Light and Shade book probably influenced me quite a bit on how I ink, so, I, uh, I, I knew that when I was doing the cover, I wanted to have a lot more black than what I did on the interior of the comic, because I, I really inked the interior pretty light, but I, I wanted, like, a really dynamic pop for the cover, just to really grab people's attention. So, um, this here's the finished image, so till next time, keep on reading comics, making comics, and buying comics.